Hi, my name is Thomas Martin. Prefer to be called Tommy. I'm a lifelong Liverpool supporter. The first match I went to, I was seven years of age. Chelsea at home in the third round of the FA Cup. My old, my best mate's brother took me, and we won one 0 And it was snowing that day. I always remember. I've been everywhere watching Liverpool. My first European game was uh, Munching Gladbach in the UEFA Cup final, as it was known in them days. And I went by myself. I'd be about 16 or 17. And we won. It was a camaraderie, Liverpool supporters in them day. We all knew each other. Because we all went the away matches. And the home matches, you all knew each other. But I never went with any personal friends. But you knew people from the match. And that's the way it was. You recognised faces. And you felt safe. Well, the best one was Rome. We went on the 25th of May. We beat Mun Munching Lab back again. And I came home in December, which is a different story. So we left here, 10 o'clock, in Crosby, Friday night. We got to Wembley to watch Liverpool play in the FA Cup final. We got beat by Man United, so we were gutted. Then we left King's Cross, 6 o'clock, Sunday morning. Travelled across Europe. Got to Rome, 6 o'clock, Monday morning. I've even got a picture here that appeared in the local paper saying the first fans in Rome. It was just an experience of a life. To follow Liverpool FC was not just a football team. It was, a, it was everything about it. It was a lifestyle. You just had friends from all over who followed Liverpool and we all seemed to just gel together. There's the ticket from the match, which I never used. There's the picture from the local paper, the Liverpool Echo. And my mother got that for me, which is that picture there. The first fans in Rome. And what we noticed in Rome was, because there's two teams in Rome, it's Roma and Lazio. Every Lazio supporter would come up to you and say to you, four to Lazio, four to Liverpool, forward Lazio, forward Liverpool. Because they hate each other, like every two teams in one city hate each other. And it was just a fantastic experience. But following Liverpool, it was, just, it was in them days, it was so much easier. We got to Rome, how are we going to get in the match? You could buy your tickets from a vending machine. Like you go here to buy cigarettes out of a vending machine. You could buy your, your football tickets from a vending machine. It was crazy. It's, people who follow football now don't realise how much fun it was in the old days to follow it. Do you remember as a kid, the only day, because I love school, the only day I bunked off school was to go and queue up to buy a ticket against West Brom in the FA Cup. We were playing at Main Road, which was Man City's old ground. And we were bits of kids. We were in the car park. And what's known as the Shankly Gates now used to just be gates. And when the car park got full, they used to close the gates. So you knew you are definitely going to get a ticket. So then you could go and walk around and play football or do whatever. The players used to have to drive to Anfield and then get a coach from Anfield to Melwood to go and train. And then the coach would come back 
and he'd have a meal in Anfield and then drive the cars home. So the coach come back, all the players were getting off. So everyone's running around, can I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? And then the great, great Bill Shankly got off the coach. And we all ran over to Bill, because he was like a magnet to Liverpool fans. We all ran over, all bits of kids, you gotta remember, we were only, can I have your autographs? Bill, can I have your autograph? And to this day, I remember he said, we were playing Leeds that Saturday away. Who's going to Leeds on Saturday? Or in how he spoke, who's going to Leeds on Saturday? And me and me mate put our hands up and he went, come forward. And he made us come to the front of the group of autograph hunters and signed our autographs first because we were going to Leeds away the following Saturday. And then he spoke to us. We said, how do you think we'll get on, Bill? And he, he spoke to us like we were growing up. I, I think that would be a hard game. But we, we play him and we play him. And, and he was telling us how they were going to play on the Saturday. But he spoke to us like adults. Greatest man I've ever met in my life. Nick, he was a Liverpool fan. His dad's an Everton fan. But I used to send him Liverpool memorabilia over. But it was because of Michael Owen, I didn't realise how big Michael Owen was round the globe. It was because of Michael Owen that Nick started following Liverpool. And when I heard, I started sending them Liverpool stuff over. So they come over one Christmas and we goes to the match, I got my brother a ticket and my nephew a ticket. Nick would only be about, you were up, you were only like so big. So Nick would only be about uh, 11 at the time. Goes to Wembley, uh, goes to Anfield, watches the match, Blackburn at home, nil nil, horrible game. Comes out, met me brother Spike afterwards and I said, uh, should we get off? And he goes, no, our Nick wants to go and get Michael Owen's autograph. So they went in the car park and I said, well, I'll meet you down the King Harry, which is just down the road. Meet you in the King Harry. So he come back about half an hour later. I said, you get his autograph, Nick? And he went, no, he wouldn't give me it. And I went, oh, what? He was a horrible person, Michael Owen to the fans. So I said, what do you mean? He wouldn't give you your autograph? He said, well, there was these local lads, little scout scallywags, heard his Californian accent and said to him, what are you doing here, mate? And he went, well, I'll be dad's from Liverpool originally. And I support Liverpool. I'm going to get Michael Owen's autograph. And he went, oh, he won't give you your autograph. He said, he's a knobhead. So Nick didn't know what a knobhead was like, being from California. So anyway, Michael Owen comes out. Nick runs over to him and asks him for his autograph. And he went, no, I can't. The police won't let me stop because they'll cause a commotion. So we comes home, we were living here then. We just moved around here. So we come home, walked in, Holly, my sister-in-law, Born and bred in California. Hi, Nick. Do you have a good day? Yeah. Do you get Michael Owens an uh, autograph? No, he's a knob at him. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him and said, Holly, it wasn't me that, did, <laughs> that taught him that expression. It wasn't me. I was on the bus going to match today and I met a guy from Iran who would come over because he was a Liverpool supporter from Iran. 
I meet people who have always gone the game and the difference in watching the present Liverpool side to the other sides over the last couple of seasons is we have to walk up this brow which is a hill called Brownlow Hill to get to the game and you used to walk two seasons ago as it was a necessity because you were a Liverpool supporter you thought you had to go but now I walk up there with a spring in my step win, lose or draw I enjoy watching Liverpool in this present season you're born with a live a beard on your chest once a red always a red red till you're dead <laughs>